we know it welcomes you back again as we continue our exploration of our ai powered uh, digital document ocr solution called vdigidocr in the last video i just covered the brief about our platform the features benefits uh, the mode of operations and where you can use it what are the applications which we have implemented today in the follow up video i will specifically go a bit more into details of how our user interface can be used or platform can be used for processing uh, purchase orders or invoices uh the user interface has been customized for this use case the back end core engine for processing the digital document remains same uh and it applies for any other use case of checks or curriculum vitae or medical reports or any such kind of unstructured uh, document so let me log in quickly uh, this is a user login there is a url for admin as well as super admin where you can control the user what it can access how it can access as well as super admin module can control admin and the organizations that can be created in the marketplace model so it's a comprehensive product but the focus today would be more on the user module so you can see when i log in it's a dashboard uh, where it indicates if there are any documents that are processed via manual or semi automatic or automatic flow right uh, just very brief manual as i said is pro is used for processing ad hoc documents you upload one document mark the code, the data of your interest or the the text that you are interested in click button it will extract for you you can export or save will work fine semi automatic is more for your repeated clients every time they uh, uh, send you the documents of the same formats here invoices or purchase orders and then the only one time you label or mark those and then it will the coordinates will be saved in the database and any new document come will be processed automatically the template will be selected automatically and uh, uh, it you will get the output automatic as i said ai powered uh, machine learning base where the model pre model training is done on the digital documents and at run time that learning is used by the software to automatically mark the area of interest and extract you the data okay so let's quickly go through uh some of this right maybe i will start with the manual ocr where i can just quickly show you how you can uh upload a single document uh as i said this is ad hoc document if i want to now retrieve any any data right so this is a company name we have for invoice use case or po use case we have populated uh the the attributes or the labels that anybody would be morely interested in but you can create any kind of attributes and the data best using this manage label all right it is it provides a lot of flexibility in creating your own labels uh the data type how you want to get them display uh when you export them and so on right so i will just use what we have uh then if i want the order number i can quickly choose this as a invoice number all right and uh, similarly there is a particular way where this line items which are going to be dynamic right so you need to mark them in a very particular specific way which i will not go into details in this demo but in subsequent demo i will show you when semi automatic or automatic flow we are looking at right so you see the data is extracted if i might have marked any line items it will retrieve that but i have not done so you can download this as csv okay so 
and you can save and it will get saved to the database as well. Semi-automatic uh, requires you to first create a template. So I have this manage template where uh, I need to create a template, mark the coordinates of the data points that I'm interested for the first time only, it will get saved to the database, right? So I will show you one example here. This I have already done. So here I have my company name, uh, the date, purchase order number. And when I have to retrieve these line items, I am marking the header and the footer. And I'm just trying to tell the software that in between this, all these line items, which will come dynamically need to be retrieved. Okay, after you mark this, uh, we are saving this, which I have already done. If I want to make any change, I can make, I will directly go to semi-automatic screen then uh, try to load one uh, document for you. And this document uh, format is similar to the, uh, uh, the template which I had created. So you can see it will get automatically marked. So you see the template got automatically selected. That means uh, it is intelligent enough to understand that this document is of type of that particular uh, template, right? So you don't need to select. If the software is not able to recognize, then you can manually select as well. So you see uh, that the uh, columns are got exactly marked. You can extract the data. The data is extracted. You can see here line items are also extracted perfectly. Uh, you can save them. Once you save, uh, it will appear in our dashboard, which obviously I will show you, uh, right? And then you can see, you can download as CSV uh, as well, or uh, any other format is also can be supported. Automatic OCR, uh, you, uh, it uses machine learning, right? So I have not created any template. It does not require any template that you will see, right? No template selection, just load this. Now it is using the learning, the model training that we have done previously. You see here, it says no template selected because there is no template required. This is automatically coming from the, uh, the, the algorithm uh, of, to which the request is sent the coordinates are automatically marked and then I can retrieve the data and further process it. So if you, a user want to do one record or one document at a time, he can do that, right? But that is not the ideal case uh, in, uh, if you have lot of documents to process. So you, there are two ways, one the batch upload here you can upload multiple uh, purchase orders or invoices like you can create a, a row you can say you are uploading with semi automatic flow any particular template or it will auto select also if required uh, uh, this template then you can choose the file you can choose multiple files here uh, similarly if i want to add a row and i want to say that okay i don't want to tell you which template the software will automatically and then uh, detect then you can upload all these invoices and then you can run the batch so all these documents will be processed on the server side and you will get the output directly in this output viewer okay uh, one of the output like in the previous semi-automatic way i had processed one document of this meras fnb and uh, uh, i had saved so you can see the output here uh, here it is for review, okay. Uh, this screen allow you to see all the documents that you have processed. You can compare with your original document. If you want to make any changes, something is not got extracted for whatever reason, you can make uh, some changes, right? And uh, you should be able to update, uh, save that as well. Okay, uh, so this is very nice provision this software has. Uh, if your verification is fine, you can click this button and say verify. So the status will change to verify. That means your workflow of processing a digital document 
is done it has come here you have reviewed verified and maybe further if it need to be integrated based on the status all that can be done okay uh, so this is overall about uh, vdg doc cr for purchase order and invoice use case we have a similar uis for uh, curriculum vitae medical report is in pipeline which i will explain to you in subsequent videos thank you and as i said admin and super admin logins are available uh, to control the user uh, what screen he can access and uh, if there are two users of the same organization can they see each other data that fine grained entitlement can also be controlled okay so thank you very much uh, any questions drop a note at contact at vinovetechnologies.com or you can look at www.vinovetechnologies.com thank you very much uh, nice talking to you have a good day thank you